In 2014, a young girl was found by the roadside in Congo. She looked 12. She was actually 22. She had been repeatedly raped in her mind, left to die by the roadside. Today, she lives in Congo. She's doing very well, thriving. And all of this is because in 1999, an amazing gynecological doctor decided to work for Congolese women that have been subjected to wartime sexual and gender-based violence by providing them medical treatment as well as psychosocial, socioeconomic, and legal support. Dr. Dennis Maguege and his team set up the Ponzi Hospital to change their lives, and they've been doing that of over 80,000 women. Dr. Mogwege is a leading advocate for the elimination of rape as a weapon of war in his personal capacity and as an advisory committee member of the international campaign to stop rape and gender-based violence. In 2012, his home was violently attacked. His family was held at gunpoint in an assassination attempt after he openly denounced the country's 16 years long conflict and call for those responsible to be brought back to justice during a speech at the United Nations. After the attack, Dr. Mugwege fled the country. The story did not end with him fleeing. The beautiful end to that story is that women, community women that he had helped, came together, sold vegetables, put money together, and decided you are our son and you are coming back home. Dr. McGregor returned, vowing to continue to serve survivor despite the rape to his own safety. In 2018, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his effort to end the use of sexual violence as a weapon of war and armed conflict. In 2023, determined to do everything to end the ongoing armed conflict in DR Congo and to protect and empower people affected by it, he ran for the presidential election. Dr. Magwege has been doing amazing work for the people of Congo.